Welcome to the Alpha Lone Wolf Story, Part 3. Hopefully you've seen Part 1, hopefully you've seen Part 2. If you have, after you enjoy this part, make sure you comment down below and let me know how you feel about all three parts. And if you're looking forward to seeing Part 4, don't dislike or comment until you watch the full length of the video. Salute all my new G's and quick shout out to myself. I have over 400,000 impressions on my YouTube channel worldwide in a month. Enjoy the video. Salute. So, I want to start off by discussing something very important to me. Another main reason why I became a lone wolf to become a leader. See, you can't become a leader no matter how much money you have, no matter how handsome you are, no matter how much love you got in your heart to give, no matter what you've been through in your life, no matter how many times you read the Bible and all the verses that you know, it, none of that matters if you don't learn who you are. If you don't make time for yourself, how else do you think you're going to know who you are? Nobody can tell you who you are. See, nine out of ten times, people only judge you off what they see. Okay, people see I'm physically fit. Must be a good dude. Must be driven. Must be motivated. They see my face. Hmm. Looks like he don't play that shit. I will watch what I say around a person like him. I don't know. I'm just presuming off what I deal with day to day. So, one thing you need to understand is if you don't make more time for yourself, you'll never know who you are until that rude midlife crisis awakening happens. And everybody, you know, has their rude awakening at different times in their life. Mine's happened throughout the entire period of me being a teenager, the entire period. For me to have my true awakening when I was in my 20s. I'm now 23. And I know enough to be 45, in my opinion. And I'm blessed for that. So, it's important that you accept the truth. It's important that you don't be delusional. And it's important that after that, you don't act like a mad motherfucker mad at the world. You may go through some red pill rage, but see, it's important what you do with that red pill rage. Are you gonna use that red pill rage to take it out on the people that don't know any better? That is the point of you being red pill. You know that you're red pill and most people are not red pill. So how can you get mad at somebody for not knowing any better. That's like being a teacher in middle school and trying to tell them about life and mad that they don't understand you. You don't have no reason to be mad. You're not mad at other people for not knowing any better. You mad that you gotta know and there's nobody else to go through it with you. That is another form of misery, wants, and loves company that's how I look at it you don't see what's going on with these women they be on Instagram showing they ass all the time they be on Twitter talk, telling their business to everybody throwing subs saying all this sexual nasty shit and be having boyfriends talking about getting a pussy ate and what they like when they need to be texting their boyfriend and calling their boyfriend and saying that shit, but yet they on social media, all comfortable and shit, to random people, and wonder why, this may be a little controversial, but wonder why it's women out here getting raped. I don't condone raping at all, but I'm going to keep it a G. These women out here are not making it any better for themselves, man. By the way that they dress and the way that they talk on the internet. They're not making it any better for themselves at all. 
Like, you know your ass is so fat when you put some fucking spandex on. It's going to be hard for men to be able to control themselves around you. So what's going to happen when you get around that predator motherfucker that ain't have no pussy in years? Dead, broke, fucked up. Everybody turned their back on him and he's mad at the world. And he see Miss, he see a Miss Parker looking ass bitch. Thinking it can't happen to her. Guess what? He gonna feel like that his lucky day. These women need to be more woke out here, man. But guess what? You don't realize that they need they need a leader. They need a, a real man in their life. How you gonna be a real man for any woman when you not a real man for yourself? You still mad that your pops ain't, ain't teach you certain things. When you gonna get over that? Because eventually you gonna have kids. You gonna still be you gonna be a father still mad at your father? You know what I did with my father? I just cut him off and got over it. We don't have to speak for the rest of my life. Now because I'm a father. I don't need him. I need, my son needs me. So whatever me and him got going on, whatever we went through and whatever I felt like wasn't fair. Sometimes I cried, calling him and couldn't spend no time with him because he was homeless and he was sick, being a schizophrenic. Those days are over. He's still going through that sickness. That He'll be going through that for the rest of his life. But now it's my responsibility to stay as healthy as I can so that that doesn't happen to me and I can be the best man I can be for my son. That's my responsibility. To let go of any past traumas I've been through in my life. So that I can be a family man. And I can get the love and affection that I really want and deserve from a woman that truly loves me. Because yes, I do want that. I'm not a simp for that. That's something I desire. You know why? Because I never got that much love and affection from my mother. And I, and I want that. But I want it from my wife. A woman that truly loves me. But I'm only going to find that woman. Or that woman is only going to be brought to me. After I find it for myself. And I'm continuing to be more happy within myself every single day. So it's coming. I feel it. Yeah. Trust me. Maybe I speak it to existence. I would say give it a year or two. Of me staying on senior retention. Especially what? First of all, I'm, getting, I'm already getting woman attraction out the motherfucking ass. And it's only been two weeks in the... I mean, two weeks. Fuck out of here. It's only been two months in the almost two weeks. And I'm getting woman attraction out the ass. So I already know that whoever my wife is out there, we connected spiritually. She's on her way already. But it's, I know all the pain and the trauma that I've been through in my life. It's going to take me some time to be able to even be ready for that. I'm still getting over the pain of what I went through with my mother. And if I don't get past that, I will never be able to love the next woman that comes in my life. And that's real spill. That's real shit. And I know I'm not the only one that have been through some uncomfortable shit with my mother. Things that you don't appreciate. Things that's a little tough to forgive and get over. But if you don't get over that shit, bro, you only going to be blocking your own blessings. You see, because I'm learning a lot about myself on this journey and being a lone wolf especially. I'm learning that I carry a lot of shit with me because of the things that I've gone through that I have not really dealt with. Because all I do is just hold it in. That's why I have this face, maybe. I look like a motherfucker that is probably ready to explode. So I have a lot of healing I need to do. So it is important for me to stay on semen retention. And use the gym as my therapy sessions. Use writing my music as therapy sessions. And use... You know, make some YouTube series, you know, to help other people. Because I'm not, you know, I'm not no therapist. But I mean, I think it's pretty inspiring watching somebody else tell their truth and being able to relate to that. I'm sure I can help somebody else. And if I'm helping you, I'm honored, bro. You don't have to do what I'm doing. You know, as far as like speaking about it on the internet. 
but go to the gym, become a stronger man. Because as men, we know we all desire to be that super strong alpha male. We all want to be that on the low, man, on the low, but we all want to be that, man. Nobody want to be no scrawny stick motherfucker that somebody could break your motherfucking bones, nigga, if they want to. Nobody want to be that motherfucker. And I grew up that motherfucker for the majority of my life. Y'all seen them pictures in my intro? That's why I got them pictures there to constantly remind you and myself who I was to keep me humble. That's why I speak my truth. And I don't try to say things that's always and only going to make me look good. Nah, I don't live my life that way. Because the truth will set you free. And that's why I speak the truth so much. Because I desire to be set free. From all the pain that I carry. Because it's very dangerous to walk around carrying a bunch of shit. Because when temptation comes and you're dealing with uncomfortable situations that you don't want to be in. And you, and you choose to explode in those situations, you're not only going to explode on that person or that situation, but you're also going to unload them full clips that you've been keeping in the stash. Instead of just giving that person a headshot and just ending the situation, nipping it in the butt, not literally, but metaphorically speaking, now you got, you done reloaded the clip and you unloaded, reloading the clip, new clip. Unloading it, reloading the clip, unloading it. All this extra shit because you got all this built up tension and trauma that you ain't dealing with. Was very therapeutic for me. Call me what you want. I throw on that killer music, that Michael Myers music. And I lock in in the gym and I give it my all. That's how I, trans that's how I best transmute all of that energy. So that I can use it and transmute it for positivity. Because I don't want to transmute it for something negative. Because I will probably be on the news. And I will probably be on the news for something like a fucking... They would call me the, the Brooklyn Massacre or some shit. And I ain't saying that shit to sound cool. But I'm just speaking in reference as to what can happen if you allow your pain to be built up for too long. You can do something that is not even like you. And you'll be looking back, stuck in jail, disappointed in yourself that you threw your life away because all you could have done was chose to not be the tough guy and, be, and, and have been honest with yourself about how you feel and got through it. And be honest with yourself about what you really want. Instead, you just want instant gratification. That's why most people don't want to become a lone wolf. Because becoming a lone wolf is hard. Why don't you... Go out to eat by yourself sometimes. Go to the movies by yourself sometimes. Go to the gym by yourself. Take walks by yourself. Talk to yourself. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with building a relationship with the person that you are? The person that you see in the mirror? How you expect to have a good relationship or a great relationship with anybody if you don't even know who you are? That you, you have people dealing with somebody that you don't even know. But they got to get to know that person to deal with that person? How does that sound to you? Think about that. And you also attract what you are. So if you don't know who you are and you don't know the person that other people got to deal with, referring to you, you know what I'm saying? Then you're being selfish. And how do you expect to attract what you really want? You have to find it within yourself first. That, it only makes sense that way. Or else you just won't have it. You could want it all you want to. But if you don't put in the work for it, you'll never have it. You'll just be a wannabe. And that choice is yours. You know? It's important that as men, we take responsibility and we become leaders out here, man. We need more leaders. It's important that you take responsibility for the fact that you know this information. You think, you think this information was given to you and that, you know, God will allow you to just not take it serious? You don't think there's going to be a price to pay for that? Or you think it's not going to be a price to pay when you choose to use this shit and be a fucking clown and play around with semen retention? You think it's not going to be a price to pay? You don't think it's going to be karma? Because with great power.
power comes great responsibility, motherfucker. He gave you this power to also test you. Not all tests come in forms of, you know, hard shit and uncomfortable shit. They can also come with get, actually getting what you want. Now, what are you going to do with what you, what you got? What you wanted when you get it? Because I didn't know that this was what I wanted my whole life until I got it and realized that this is exactly what I've been praying for my entire life. So now, he's also testing me and you. What are you going to do with it? Yeah, I gave you what you wanted. Because I knew this was this is what you wanted. You didn't know that, but I did. You know, referring to God. And now that you have it, you going to make God look stupid. You gonna make yourself look stupid? Yeah, I'm waiting on you to answer that question. I wanna see you win, man. I want you to win. But you gotta wanna win too. How bad do you want it? You willing to enjoy every single day and appreciate it truly? You willing to wake up in the morning and thank God for another day on the journey? And say the marathon continues. Or when it get a little lit. And you start seeing the woman attraction for women that you've been desiring. I get my braids done. And you choose to just act like you some sort of Mac now. Some pimping motherfucker now. You don't want to be humble no more. You seeing the hate from the dudes that don't understand why you got the glow like that. And now you want to shit on them. You know, you know what they say. Sometimes, you know, the person that you hate the most is what you become. So be careful with that. The people that you hate, you can become that when you get power and not even realize it. That's a gem for real. So that's why it's important to build a relationship with yourself because you have to see... You want to make sure you're aware of the person you're forming into because, you know, even though we live in the moment, especially on this journey and day by day, sometimes days can go by fast. And you could just all of a sudden look in the mirror and see a motherfucking monster. I ain't gonna lie, sometimes when I look in the mirror, I understand why a lot of people fear me. I even then told myself straight up, like, if I wasn't me, I probably would fear me too. Not because I'm some super killer tough guy, but it's just, I have this message written on my face that most people reciprocate in the same way. Watch your step, you know? And I didn't want to really become that person, but I also wanted to become the person that everybody respected. And... I'm learning that the majority of the respect that you get in this world comes from fear because most people fear what they don't understand. And most people misunderstand me, so that's where the fear comes from. I also, you know, am still learning who I am, trying to grow as well. That's why I speak my truth. Why would I lie? Because I'm only hurting myself at the end of the day. You may not know the difference because you don't know me. But at the end of the day, I'm only I'm hurting myself. Because the what was done in the dark always comes to light. And if you think that that, tr that saying is not true, then why do you think semen retention is lit? We've been fapping and addicted to instant gratification and ejaculation for the majority of our lives. And now it's coming to light. We have people all over the, in this community speaking their truth about it. Why? Because the truth always comes to light. What's done in the dark always comes to light. So make sure what you do in the dark, you would do in the light. Because regardless, it's going to come out one way or another. Be a lone wolf and learn about who you are. Yeah. Treat how you, you know... What you do by yourself, treat it as if people watching you because you are being watched by the universe, by forces that you can't see. Keep that in mind. This is the Lone Alpha Wolf story part three. 
I hope you enjoyed and I hope you took some messages and learned something that you can take with you along your walks of life. And if so, I'm honored. Like I said, if you want part four, let me know and it'll be soon. You know, that picture that I have on the cover was a person, you know, that was in a very dark place. You know, that's why I chose that picture. Everything I do is strategic, everything. So pay attention to everything I do because I do everything on purpose. Salute.